Hello there boys and girls, my name is Paul Verizes and welcome to my Clue Scroll Iron Man series hound hunt, where the aim is extremely simple, attain the Bloodhound pet, starting on a fresh level 3 Iron Man account. If you're new around the channel and fancy catching up on all of the progress that we've made so far, then feel free to check out the video description for a link to the series playlist as well as a full list of the series rules. But as always guys, sit back, relax and I hope you enjoy today's episode. Hello there everyone and welcome back to episode number 42 of my Clue Scroll Iron Man series Hound Hunt. So just in case you didn't tune into the last episode, I finally tried my hand at learning raids and even though my gear definitely isn't the best right now, I am really really enjoying them and I can't wait for them to be another proper source of elite clues for the account in the future. And I also completed my special 10k sub celebration livestream last episode as well and as part of the festivities I cracked open another 50 medium caskets on stream and uh, only managed to receive a single new unique reward from all of those, not Ranger Boots unfortunately but a pair of spike manacles so now the only boot roll that we haven't seen are those ranger boots but i am hoping to sneak as many bonus medium caskets into these episodes as i can so hopefully we'll cop them soon since i'm so addicted to raids right now i've snuck a few cheeky ones in before recording this intro and luckily enough on raid 17 i have grabbed another elite clue for the start of today's video but we also managed to see something pretty cool one raid earlier as well and he's gone <gasps> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> you lucky boy. So hopefully one day I can pick myself up a dex from raids as well to unlock Rigor, as it'll be such a massive upgrade for the account, particularly over at Armadale God Wars when I need to go and get the Armadale helmet for the Master Clue Step. But anyway, let's see what's inside this elite casket. And it is absolute garbage. I swear I get soul runes in every single one of my elites, but... Yeah, overall, just pretty standard elite to kick us off today. So after another very successful stream featuring a raid by MMORPG himself, coming in with 700 viewers, we have ourselves three more medium caskets to finish it. Off with. <laughs> well, there's the third pair of uh, climbing boots sheet. But I swear to God, if this is an Armadale page three as well. Okay, thank God. If you guys don't know, Armadale page three is a massive meme on my channel. The, I went dry, like thousands of clues dry for one of these things or one of those things. Anyway, next up, a bunch of slime. And the last one, a Bandos Cloak. That is the sixth one now, if I'm not mistaken. As that is another Master Clue requirement. But we do have... Yep, that is number six of the collection now. And also the third pair of Climbing Boots G. What the hell? Back of the Fire Giants for level 88 defense. And we're getting super close to another combat level as well. I swear to God, man. Something is going on with my account of Fire Giants. That is another 1 in 16,300 drop. Hey, there we go, guys. That is exactly what I want to see. The first ever Lizardman Shaman task since I unlocked them. But before I start slaying them, I need to quickly grab myself 100% Chasey in favor so I can kill the Lizardman Shamans. And also, I need to quickly knock out the Karend Hard Diary, which allows me to use my Slayer Helm instead of the Chasey in Helm 5. And because I was completing a diary task in the area, I thought I might as well use these three brimstone keys um, to see what we get. First up, some uh, dragon dart tips, not too shabby. More coal, always happy with coal. And lastly, some dragon arrow tips, not too bad. And there we go, just had to quickly knock out the Queen of Thieves quest for the Karen diary, and that should also be a nice little bit of bonus Pits Corellius favor as well. And literally about five seconds later, there are all the easy Karen diary tasks done. The Depths of Despair, done. Tale of the Righteous, Done. And the Ascent of Arceus. Done. So I finally managed to get around to getting the full Caradis Memoirs book, which will really help me with some medium clue steps. But more importantly, there are all of the Karen medium tasks done. So for one of the last hard diary tasks, I need to get a Xerix Talisman, which again is something that I've been meaning to get on the account for so long now. And I thought I'd see if I could snag it by doing some stone chests, as they have a 1 in 100 chance of dropping a medium clue. But anyway, there is level 73 thieving now. Oh my god, there it is finally. I was starting to think that this thing didn't exist. Over 100k thieving XP and not a single medium clue, which is pretty weird. But there we go, finally got the talisman. And also, now that I've got my hands on this thing, I can finally directly teleport to raids instead of having to run there every single time. And there we go, guys. That is 100% favor gained in every single house now. Hey, and there we go. There is the Architectural Alliance quest done. And therefore, I think that is a free 10k Herblor XP. Hey, very, very nice. So all that I have to do now to finish off the hard diary is kill a Lizardman Shaman. And there we go. Imagine the 1kc Dragon Warhammer. Oh, never lucky, eh? Some chaos runes, but there we go. That is every single Karen hard diary task done now. So as well as the free 25k Herblor XP, this now means that whenever I get a Shaman's task, I can use my Slayer Helm instead of the Shazian Helm 5. And also with the Rada's Blessing 3, I also get three teleports to Kona every day, which I guess is uh, pretty cool. Um, but finally, let's go and do that Shaman Slayer task. No! 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 No way! No! No way! No way! No way! 46! No way! No way! No 
way. No way. I feel like I'm about to pass out. No way. 46. Well, 50. <laughs> what? What? No way. No way. No way. No way. Like, legit, I've just been staring at my character for about 10 minutes now. I keep, I say it every single episode, but what is this account? Legit, a 1 in 5k drop. I get it in 50kc. The very first shaman task. I haven't even finished yet. I'm halfway through it. But I get a dragon warhammer. Like, what? This is a huge upgrade. I'm going to need this thing for bandos. I'm going to need this thing for raids. I'm, I'm speechless. I, I honestly don't know, guys. I'm so happy right now. Okay, so it's the next day now, and I've just about managed to calm down a little bit. But, like, how do I even continue on with this episode after something like this has happened? And I realized it actually was on 46kc and not 50, because I'm assuming that counted the shamans inside a raid. And I also realized that I can't even use this thing until this episode comes out to avoid spoilers for the guys that I raid with or when I'm live on stream. And also, I did luckily grab a hard clue, literally the kill before I got the Warhammer. And I was pretty hard AFKing, and I only noticed it on the ground when the Warhammer Shaman had about 30 HP. But anyway, let's see if the luck streak can continue. Not particularly 360 hard clues now, but I mean, I cannot, can I ever be upset about not getting a good reward after this? So my main man Robbie, one of the absolute legends that's been carrying me through reads, has just copped himself level 99 mage on his iron. So as is tradition, I thought I'd bring a bonus hard casket along to see if I can get any luck. To be fair, that is a pretty decent hard casket. A lot of nice alks, but uh, still no Zami for well. And I figured that I might as well finish off the rest of this Lizardman Slayer task over at the baby ones, because I want to keep that Shaman KC as low as I possibly can. Well, there's the second Xerix Talisman now. Ooh, okay, and next up, the first ever Drake's task. And I swear, if I get the Drake's Claw or Tooth on this first task as well, I'm officially going to be the luckiest Iron Man of all time. Jeez, this thing is massive. First ever superior Drake. And of course, I zero with my Dragon Warhammer. Well, there goes all my food for this trip, but 7k Slayer XP, Jesus Christ, but not really the best reward, but I'll take some Lorins. Oh, I get the Elite though, let's go. That's what we like. And here we go, here is that Elite casket that we got from Raids. There we go, a Royal Scepter and a Master Clue. Fine, don't be an armor page 3, it's an armor page 4, I'm very happy with that. I've been so dry of a master clue now. Literally, I was just saying on stream, I think I've done like maybe 15, 20 elite clues, 100 mediums, maybe like 40 hards, and there we go. And another new unique ticked off a log. I think we only need nine more now before uh, master clues have officially become unlocked, and still no duplicates either. So, unfortunately, the very first step of that master clue is one that we currently cannot do, as I don't have a single one of the items. However, I can buy the Obsidian Cape with Toko, which is fine, but for the other two, I'll do my usual two to three hours worth of work towards seeing if I can get very lucky and get the drops. So to try and snag the pair of Bandos boots, I'll obviously have to head over to Grado with my shiny new Dragon Warhammer and see if I can get very, very lucky. And uh, as for the Dragon 2H, I'll do a few more hours over at Callisto, which is completely fine because I've been doing around 25 to 30 Callisto kills on stream most days anyway. And I'm up to 217 KC now without seeing any items at all. Alright, so it's time for some more Bandos, and I've definitely got a few big upgrades since the last time I was here, which should hopefully mean a lot smoother kills and hopefully also more than one kill trips. Alright, two or three hours of Bandos, let's do it. Alright, that was a pretty rough one to kick us off. What are we going to get for the first kill back? We are going to get some magic logs. Whoops, completely forgot my teleport out, but there is the first two kill trip. Three kill trip this time, not too bad at all. Just die, you big chode. <gasps> no, 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 no way, no way. No way! No way! No way! Oh my god! No way! I actually got them! <gasps> what? I actually got them on 20kc! What? Oh my god! What is this episode, man? Like, I just don't even know what to say at this point, guys. 20 Bandos KC for a nearly 1 in 400 drop that we just so happen to need for a master clue. 
My luck is just absolutely stupid on this account. I know I say it all the time, but like it just keeps on getting better and better. But I think this must be a sign to make sure that I do end up completing this master step now, which I am completely fine with because I do need to keep grinding Callisto anyway for the Dragon Pickaxe, Elite Clues, which are a 1 in 50 drop, and also obviously the Dragon 2H to complete this clue step. And also, if I wasn't lucky enough already, I just picked up an XP book from a random event, which should now mean that we're level 78 Herblore. So now I don't have to worry about bringing a Botanical Pie into every single raid to make my brews and restores. So, unfortunately, Long story short, I managed to lose my Verax flail whilst doing Callisto on stream. Essentially, a magic seed protected over the flail after getting PK'd, which really, really sucks. But I might go back to Barrow sometime to see if I can get it back again. But for now, I thought I'd take a little break from Callisto and try out some Chaos Elemental instead for the Dragon 2H, as the drop rate is half of what it is over at Callisto. <gasps> Oh my god, I'm actually so happy right now, guys. What an episode this has been so far in terms of drops. But what I don't get is I'm 70 kills over the drop rate for this thing over at Callisto. I've literally gone and snagged it on 18kc from the Chaos Elemental when it's a 1 in 256 drop. But obviously, I'm not complaining about that in the slightest. It is yet another Master Clue item that I've ticked off this episode and a huge upgrade for me over at Raids as well. So hopefully, I can also snag a Dragon 2H to absolutely complete this episode. No. No. No way. <laughs> what do I even say at this point, guys? Like, what's that? That's six kills later, another dragon pickaxe. Like, I guess I'll take it. It's a nice little bit of back value. <laughs> I don't even have my ring of wealth on. That's a one in 200 uh, elite clue, but I'm not complaining. There we go, up to 100 total KC now, but nothing too interesting since that last elite clue. Oh, and uh, by the way, boys and girls, the Golden Gnomes have just been announced again for this year. So if you just so happen to want to vote for any of your favourite old school RuneScape content creators, then I'll leave a link down below in the description. And uh, if your new favourite old school RuneScape YouTuber just so happened to be me, then I'll never ever say no to a vote. But honestly, guys, just making the nominations would be a dream come true, and I really, really appreciate any votes for me in advance. Oh! Not the D2H, but oh. <laughs> I've just got myself the very first pet on the account, the Chaos Elemental Junior. Oh my god! I mean, it is only a one in three hundred drop, so it wasn't it wasn't like super uh, crazy that I wasn't going to get this thing. But there we go, guys. The first ever pet on the account. Unfortunately, not the Bloodhound. I did say it on stream quite a few times, and I was hoping to see if I could get the Bloodhound as my first ever pet, but. Well, there we go. <laughs> but of course, in true me fashion, I've managed to get everything rarer that I wasn't specifically looking for. But obviously, I did want the Dragon Pickaxe eventually. But I do need the D2H right now for the Master Clue. And we are currently one kill over the drop rate for it. So I think what I'm going to do is kill a few more Chaos Ellies. And if I still don't get it, I'm going to crack open the five Elite Caskets that I've got saved up in the bank. And then just juggle the Master Clue that we've got for now. Because I realised the D2H step was the very first step of this clue. So it's not like we'll be resetting the progress on it if we do get another Master Clue. So I've just finished up with a few more trips over at the Chaos Ellie, but unfortunately still no Dragon 2H. But like I said, after getting these Boundless Boots, I am so determined to finish that clue step now, and I'll keep working on getting that sword in the next episode. But to finish off this one, I've got those five Elite Caskets that I've been saving up for the past few days. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe this might be the highest amount of Elite Caskets that I've had saved up during the series so far. So if this episode wasn't crazy enough already, let's see if we can grab any more unique sign-off purple sweets and more soul runes. I swear I get soul runes in every single one of my caskets, but there we go on the second one, a fresh master clue. So let's see if we can do the first step. Follow the bard, that is a good sign, but now I've got to get juggling. Like I always say, there's only two items that I can't currently do for a follow step right now, so hopefully it's not the Armadil Helm or the Greenman's Ale. An Infernal Act, perfect. And there you go, follow mate. That is step number one done. What is going to be next? Is that a back-to-back -back follow, or did I not? Uh, okay, it is a back-to-back -back follow. Once again, no Greenman's Ale. Barrow's Gloves, easy peasy. There you go, there's your Barrow's Gloves, buddy. Okay, step number three is going to be the Water Obelisk Island. Now, that's... What's that? Is that by Catherby? Yes, yeah, that one. That, uh, that takes a while to get to, but I can do that one. 
There we go, step number three done. Let me quickly get back and get my other clue. Oh man, I'll tell you guys, I absolutely hate juggling clues. I'm so scared that I'm going to accidentally let one despawn. And uh, I even tried putting one on a table, but it didn't actually let me for some reason. But anyway, step number four is going to be another Fallow the Bard step. Very good sign. Okay, so Fallow's not been particularly kind this time. He wants some Lava Dragon bones, which I can do. Um, I can just go quickly kill a Lava Dragon because I don't have any bones in the bank right now. The only problem is it's going to take quite a while for me to go and get them and then make it back to pick up my other clue. But I should be able to do it, hopefully. Okay, that was a close one, but I just about made it. Okay, so next up after that fallow step, I've got another one of these three-part clues. And I believe the first two parts are fine, but for the third one, I think I either have to have finished or started the Curse of the Empty Lord mini-quest. So I'm going to attempt to do it while still juggling these clues. There's part one done. Part two done. And there's part three done. Oh my god, that was so stressful. That was like a 20 minute sub quest whilst also juggling a clue. But anyway, that is uh, step five done. Next up is... Okay, that's another easy one. Oh damn, not quite the casket this time. Anyway, next step, a Sherlock one. Please, I really hope I haven't gone through all this effort for nothing. Alright, it's been a while, Sherlock. Please be nice to me. This clue has really stressed me out trying to juggle it. Come on. And it's going to be steal a gem from the Ardy Market. 100% sure I can do that one. Just had to get a cheeky plus two thieving boost for that one. But come on, please give me the casket. No. Oh, you're kidding me, man. No. Oh, that is so annoying. Oh, I juggled all of that for nothing. That is so, so sad, man. Oh, man, that was like an hour of juggling in total. But I guess we're going to have to say goodbye to this clue since it's way more likely that I'm going to get the Dragon 2H before the Zamorok Full Helm. But with that said, that does mean that we will be grinding out some hard clues in the next episode to see if we can make up for dropping this clue. So at least that's some more clue content for you guys. Also, on the positive side a little bit, I guess, I realized that we're now technically on the eighth step of this Dragon 2H clue. So I'm going to save these last three Elite Caskets for next episode after I've got myself the Dragon to H, because now I don't want to reset the progress on this clue if we do happen to get another Master Clue from these Elite Caskets, because then at least we'll have another guaranteed Master Casket after this last step. So I'm not going to lie, it does feel a little bit weird not ending an episode with cracking open a few more Caskets, but with that said, you guys have no idea how happy I am with the progress that I've made in today's one. And once again, I have tried to mould the Fashion Skate for today's episode around the Royal Scepter that we picked up earlier, and even though I have been working on other grinds recently, we are still making some really, really good progress towards unlocking Master Clues, and you guys honestly have no idea how excited I am to crack those caskets open. And uh, also the clue progress that we've made this episode should be on the screen now for you guys. Also, before I forgot, I just insured this little guy just in case that I lose him. But uh, with all that said, guys, that is going to be all from me for today's episode of Hound Hunt. And I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this one. So if you did and you want me to share some of my ridiculous RNG, drop a like on the video. And a big, big thank you to all the guys over on my Twitch channel that support me and allow me to do what I love. But as always, guys, until next time, stay safe and I'll see you very soon.